Hey guys, it's Andre and let's talk about Raquel Levis and Lala Kent. Lala Kent basically said that Raquel Levis got fooled again while doing an interview with Bethany Frankel. So let's see what she said. The travesty that she didn't end up coming back because I'm not going to say too much because we're in production. She should have come back. I think she would have been very surprised. And instead, she went and did this. She was manipulated yet again. That's what I said all along. I mean, producers know that all they want is ratings. And when Raquel Levis is on the show, it's going to be more people watching. So for her not coming back on the show, I think she's missing a lot of money. I don't know what really happened because Lala Khan didn't say actually what she thinks. She only said that she got manipulated by Bethany Frankel and apparently for doing this interview and talk too much that Raquel was not supposed to. And I'm happy that she finally got to take advantage of a giant platform to tell her story. I only saw clips and what I gathered from it was Bethany completely exploited that girl yet again. In Raquel's interview with Bethany, the 28-year-old claims that she wasn't actually close to Tom's then-girlfriend of nine years, Ariana Maddox, when she and the Tom Tom co-owner started their months-long affair. I don't know why she said that, that she wasn't close with Ariana Maddox if on the show was, like, they said multiple times that they're, like, own, like almost best friends, so I, I'm not sure why would they lie about that. And now she, she says, no, we're not close, that's why it was okay for me to cheat with Tom. I mean, it wasn't okay, but it's like uh, understandable. But there were things that she was then saying that were not perspective. It was, this is lit, this is a flat out lie. And I can't imagine that you believe what you're saying. And while the rest of the cast attempts to move on from Scandaval as they film season 11, Lala ultimately understands Raquel's decision, adding this. I don't think that reality television is for everybody. It is a very intense environment. If you are not mentally tough as it can break you. A reality show is definitely not for everyone. And uh, actually Raquel, definitely not mentally stable to be on a reality show. And what she did wasn't right. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't for ratings because it's lasting long enough to really understand that it wasn't for ratings. So uh, maybe it's the best position right now for everyone. Uh, for her actually to stay out of the show and to the cast to film the show. It's bad for ratings, it's bad for people, but it's maybe good for their mental health. What do you think about it? I want to know your thoughts in the comment section. Also subscribe to this channel, share, like, and comment. Let's make this community bigger. See you in the next one. Bye.